hell of a big. The blessings of our Lord be. And with you, lad, take a seat. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything, but maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. He just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl, my... even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I notice there's a woman living with you at the presbytery. What of it? Have you never met a cleric who lives with a woman before? Mother Church won't let me take her to wife. Too afraid it might lose its property to any heirs she bore me. But she cooks and cleans. And, well, as a man I have my needs. I'm not sure the parish priest at St. James would agree with you. I, I heard he was a bit odd. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by court. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal... Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. You're just making excuses. The people who say the church is corrupt are right. You don't care about anyone, only your own comfort. I'm sorry you see it that way. 
Really sorry. You've no idea how wrong you are. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits isn't prof. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. The tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress while Jesus Christ walked barefoot. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God. Amen. Well, this Jan Hus character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Hooth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than... I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits and sasal mo... What do you think of this Jan Hoos? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here... Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for... Be for debauchery. No, I don't. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't... Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted yeah, enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Well, enjoy it, Father. I have to go now. I thought you'd be more game. So you won't help me out with that secret? No, I won't. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good day. Father, didn't I see you? I wouldn't have expected that from a... With a stick. 
What the hell? Take it away, I'll for me. As you wish. God be with you. The parish priest here in Ujus, he's a... He is indeed. He's as hard as nails. More than once he's intervened in the brawl in the tavern you, and right. sat everyone on their asses. He's not to be taken lightly. I doubt he acquired those skills at the seminary. You know how it goes. The nobles send their youngest sons to study for the priesthood. And our parish priest has blue blood in him. He probably learned to fight at home before he went to university. That's how... But I heard something happened and he was roving the world for a while. I don't know... Godwin won't tell me who Lou Bosch's cronies were. I've reached a complete standstill. I told you, no one ever came here to see him. If he was meeting anyone, it must have been somewhere else. But where? I can't go around the whole county asking, can I? I could end up in Kuttenberg. You might. They might even have records of that scoundrel there. But maybe you don't have to go that far. I just remembered he once boasted to me that he had a record in Ratte. There might be some mention there of who was with him at the time. Thank you for your help. Ale!
I'd better not go in any further. I might drown. What's up? Do you need some help? What's the matter with you?
What are you playing at with that weapon? God be with you. I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle, Friedrich. And I need blessed relief from my suffering. May the Lord have mercy. Well, I don't know what I can do for you except bring you a priest. I'm not dying yet. I just can't get up. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm on the trail of those killers from Neuhof, and I need to know the names of the men who were sentenced alongside Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. I can't remember. Once I write the record down, it goes straight out of my head. It's essential that I find out those names. Is there anything I can do to help you get back to work? I can't go to work when I can't stand on my feet. Konyash the Apothecary has an embrocation that helps, but it costs dearly. If you brought me some, it might do the trick. All right, I'll try and get some for you.